Hey everybody, this is Triggs, and I haven't done a tutorial or a video in about a week, so I decided to make a tutorial on how to do the fading glow around the corners of your modules, and this can be seen on my Aptic Fulsome Speed Art. And so I'm going to jump right into it. First thing you're going to want to do is go to your modules, go to the stroke, make sure the size is at 1, opacity is at 100%, blend mode is normal, then go to your color, and the first thing you can do is choose the color of the main area of your background, so I'll choose right here. And then I'm going to choose up to the brightest color on uh, the right hand of the color palette. After that's finished, just apply a slight drop shadow. Then create a new layer. Then we're going to go over to our pen tool. And we're going to create a corner on our modules. And then the next thing we're going to do is go to your brush. Make sure it's set to size of 7 and that um, it's no hardness, the hardness is at 0%. Then we're going to go to our color palette, bring it to that bright color, then go back to your pen tool, right click on the line, and choose stroke path. Make sure stimulate pressure is unchecked, and make sure the tool is set to brush, then hit OK and it already has the effect on it. Now all we have to do is delete the path by right clicking and then set, line this up with your corner and then use your arrow keys to get it perfect and once you have it where you like it go to your eraser set the eraser size to 200 and make sure the hardness is at zero and then we're just gonna erase the edges till you can't tell and it's just a fade and then after that's done, all I have to do is duplicate the layer by clicking Control J, then go to Edit, Transform, flip horizontal, drag it over to the other side by holding Shift, and then do that for the rest of the corners. And then to add it to the bottom uh, module where your um, your picture is, put it, just drag it right to the corners, then Control J it again, and you can just rotate it by holding down Shift and then put it to the bottom corner. So that is how you create that uh, really easy, but it look, makes everything good uh, on your background. So yeah, uh, keep looking for new videos on my channel. I'll have another tutorial up next week and probably a speed art up by this weekend. So thanks for watching. Please subscribe and like this video. That'll really help out. And if you have a tutorial request, just leave a comment. So thanks for watching. See you later.